I'm Amy Goddard, the design consultant at Elkins Builders. We're at the home of the Osbournes here in our quaint little town of Elkin. We are going to look at this house and I'm going to walk through and show you what things used to be and how things are going to be. Uh, this is something that we're going to start doing more of at Elkins Builders. I am going to start meeting with homeowners, doing an interview with them, walking through the home, deciding how they want the space to feel and look and then going from there with kitchen design, bathroom design, um, anything and everything. We've been an integral part of this remodel from the get-go, which is really exciting and fun for Elkins Builders, something that we really want to get involved in and make a name for ourselves here in our small community, not only here in the Elkins area, but also um, in the surrounding areas, communities um, at in large. So this is something that I really am passionate about and want to get involved with and hopefully you'll be able to see when we do a walkthrough of this home what we've done, how it started, where it was, and what it's going to be. Um, it we are going to go in, this is the back of the home, um, which the kitchen is in the back of, of the house, but um, again something that obviously all of us kind of know is that the kitchen is the heart of a home and that's why a lot of homeowners if you kind of break it down um, I know electrical and plumbing are very expensive but a lot of people will spend more money on their kitchen than any other part of the home and it's kind of interesting if you think about it in our lifetime we will if we stay in a home probably only do one or two kitchens and so it's really important that we make it right and that we do it do a good job and and again it is kind of the heart of the home your kids will do homework there you'll have family gatherings there and so you do want to take a lot of time and energy and that's again what I think that we can offer you that I will come to you. Um, Catherine and I did a walkthrough of this home when they first bought it, like just a few days after they bought it, and we talked about how they wanted the space to feel. They have a little one right now, but again, it's expensive, so we wanted to grow. We want this space to grow with them. They're obviously probably going to have other ch more children, and so. Um, Something that I'm kind of focusing on at Elkins Builders is the aging in place process. That this space again needs to age with us and so when we're doing the bathrooms we talked about shower stalls um, that were easily accessible to get in and out of. Um, Another thing that we talked about here at this home was, and you'll see this when we do our walkthrough, was the laundry room was downstairs behind the kitchen. And so it was a really kind of awkward space that you had to walk through the kitchen to do the laundry. Well, Catherine and I talked about when they're socializing and having friends over or family, they didn't want to have to walk through the kitchen to do the laundry or let anybody know. So we moved the laundry room upstairs, which has worked out really great for them. They're really excited about that. So um, we'll see more of that when we do our walkthrough. This is my doing. This used to be an odd room, like just Catherine and I, neither one felt like it was a big enough for a bedroom. They didn't need it for an office because there's plenty of space downstairs. Um, and again, thinking about this second floor as being the living area, so we decided to, again, bring the washer and dryer upstairs. So this is now washer and dryer, which we will put, we're gonna put some doors on here that are nice, so you won't even know. I mean, you're going to know, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, and then a nice full bath for guests, their daughter, and, and other children to come, possibly. Vanity toilet, obviously. Um, so then we got rid of this door that went into what was a bathroom. It still is a bathroom on the other side, but we just got rid of that that. This is now going to be ta da! Bathroom, master bathroom. Um, corner shower, toilet, 
clawfoot tub. We loved that. We wanted to keep that, so we're keeping it. Small vanity. And then this will be just kind of closet area. Bedrooms. Fun. Okay, so that's it's a really big, nice house. But there was some kind of awkward spaces or not very functional spaces. So that's what I have helped cast them down about. It's how to use the space better. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love how that feels. Those two opening, this opening and opening that up, that's oh, so much better. Yeah. That feels so much better. It feels a heck of a lot better. It flows. It, yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is the front, this is coming into the front, but this is coming in their front door. We changed nothing here. This is basically, except got rid of the, there was a drop ceiling here. We got rid of that. We got rid of the carpet, everything. And then this room, we basically did a change. We changed ceiling fans. That was it. New windows from us, but other than that, pretty much the same. Now to the difference. So this was obviously a regular formal dining room that younger couple, part of something that younger people like is, is open spaces, but yet um, Matt and Catherine did want to keep some of the, the old feel, so they still wanted this space to be a little bit of a dining room. So, ta-da, we opened up this, this wall. Um, this used to be a really narrow, um, just a little a little doorway opens that up, expose this brick, which is really cool, kind of keep that feel of the house. And then this used to be a solid wall. And so now we are marrying the two rooms, make it feel bigger, and it does. Oh, it feels it's great, love it. <laughs> um, now this is the kitchen. Um, obviously got it. It did not look like this when Catherine and I had our first walk through. Um, just was a kitchen. It didn't really say much. Now it's going to say something. Um, we moved the sink over here. So when Catherine is doing dishes and maybe they have some, some people over, they can be in that room. Um, but she can still be a part of what's going on. Um, so it's going to be oh, really a great, great space. They have, uh, again, I said earlier, they have a little girl, and so we talked about we're not putting anything in this space right here because this is going to be the little girl's space. We're going to put like a little kid um, table and chair so she can hang out here when mommy's in here doing um, dinner and stuff. Um, we're going to do the refrigerator there, cook stove over on that wall, and then a little kind of buttery pantry area um, in this in this corner space, um, which used to be the washer and dryer. So we got that out of there. Nasty. <laughs> then this is another lovely space that is going to be continue to be a half bath. Um, and access outside utility room, kind of. We're gonna put a, they're putting a big um, sink in here, utility sink in here, and then access to outside through that door. Um, I think that's it.